So here it is, a fully fledged tour golf ball, but how does it get to this stage where the very best players in the world are ready to put it into play? Hi guys, my name is Peter Finch and we are about to be transported as if by magic and the use of time to California and the TaylorMade Ball Lab. But before we go there and just explain exactly how golf balls are made, created and the stages that actually are taken before you get to play them, before the pros get to play them, there is going to be a giveaway. So on this video, I've got a dozen TP5X and TP5s to give away and those are also going to be given away on Instagram. So there's another the two dozen to give away on Instagram. And to enter this giveaway, very, very simple. All you need to do is be a subscriber to the channel, like the video, and then comment below on what you would call the golf ball that you released. Would it be the Eagle Hunter, the Shank Shutter, Slicer's Ammo, the Hook Monster? I don't know. Whatever you would call your golf ball, comment down below to be entered into the giveaway. So guys, good luck. And without any further ado, let's head over to the Ball Lab and see how these golf balls are made. Yeah, my name is Eric Loper, uh, Director of Golf Ball R&D, and we're just outside of our golf ball lab. So the overarching like design process is, is research. There's materials research, there's research with our tour players, the consumer. What, can, what are these players wanting out of their current golf ball? And then what we do is we do some uh, modeling and simulation, develop a matrix of prototypes. And really what this lab is here to do and, and support this team is make prototypes. You think about the core, it, it's the innermost component of the golf ball, and it drives quite a few of the performance characteristics. First, it drives really how much spin is gonna be generated, depending on the type of shot. It also is going to drive how that golf ball feels. Three and four piece golf balls really have a, I'd say a medium compression core, and then they build up their layers to increase velocity. Uh, the challenge with that type of construction is it, in general, even though it'll have really high ball velocities, when with, especially with higher swing speed players, is it generates more spin. So what we do on the, our TP5 and 5X is we start with that really, really soft core. On the TP5, it's 16 compression, and anyone in the industry would say that's, that's soft. So with this here, what we're gonna start with is the core. Is we're gonna start with a, a, a polybutadiene rubber material, and we're gonna place it in this two-roll mill. And keep in mind that everything we do here is very, very small batch. Um, in, in a manufacturing environment, this will basically be a, a, a large kneader, a two-story mixer. Materials, as it's being uh, pressed between those two rolls, uh, there's a shearing effect, and it's gonna create th some mixing. And if you feel here, it's actually starting to warm up. The sh that shearing is crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, I thought you quite warm. We have these pellets that have specific materials. The aspirin? <laughs> I don't know. We're adding uh, materials that are going to change the compression of the core uh, and will help cure the product as well. Oh. What to do is start to fold this all in. It's about a 15 to 20 minute mix. Oh, aren't we lucky? Yeah. So you don't need a lot. Don't need a lot. That little color of yellow, that's going to turn that whole. Yellow. Oh, I certainly hope so. That's, a <laughs> that's the idea. That's a tiny. That's like an airport. It's like a, it's like a die. Is having this this capability to have an idea, whether that idea is uh, you know originated from a tour player giving you feedback, or at your desk doing some modeling, or even with a lot of the technicians out here, they, they it's a, this area helps generate ideas. And what's great is you these ideas are generated, and you can actually go do something about it. Yeah, you can yeah, actually we, go try yeah. some. Like a butter yellow, right? Prairie yellow, not, prairie not quite yellow. the Corvette yellow, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm just kind of winging this right now, but uh, we'll end up with a good product. It's like an electric blanket. <laughs> so we're gonna take it over here. We're gonna roll it up. So that's the normal color of a, a TP5 core. That that's is. a TP5 core, yeah. Today, since we're doing a really small batch, we're going to just sheet it out and cut preps. So it's gone from normal to preps. And if you look at this mold base, you can see that we have many different sizes. Again, this is an R&D facility. <laughs> so what's happening there is the, the material is going to form the sphere or the core. And then the heat is going to kick off the reaction with the peroxide. So we're, gonna, we're, we're forming the part and we're curing the part in this press. So basically this is what the, the core looks like as it comes out. 
so, of the press. So it takes a little bit of time to kind of make it into this harder material. So we'll just go on to the boring blue. Yeah, move on to the yeah the boring blue. <laughs> boring blue <laughs> patches though. Yeah, there you go. Dressing, dressing, it, to, dressing it, to match your cause. Yeah, yeah, I'm TP5 guy, right? I mean, it's cured. It's resilient. I mean, if you're gonna go dr drop that polybutadiene rubber, it's just gonna hit the ground and just stop. Yeah. I mean, so we, we added materials to make it, to enhance it. Particularly what we do is we have a material that is quite flexible, but very resilient, is the first material. Has a specific modulus uh, that, we're, that we're using to increase the speed of that core. And then we move out to the second or the third layer. And this material is a little bit stiffer, still very resilient. The layer just inside the cover, the fourth layer, is a, is a stiff material that we call HFM. It's a high modulus uh, resin, and it's designed to increase speed. And then we wrap um, this high modulus uh, resin with a cast urethane. It's designed to uh, increase performance around the green. It's really what makes it a tour golf ball. That's, that's on the TP5, it's a little bit thicker. And on the TP5X, it's, no. a, it's quite thin. It's very flexible. It's really designed to uh, increase that friction. This is uh, basically layer one, layer two, and layer three even though that's really there for um, thermoplastic materials. The materials start out in pellet form. Uh, they get loaded into the retractable pin injection molding machine. Uh, the material gets loaded into the hopper in the back. Want to go around this way? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it gets loaded into that, that hopper. And the materials are... Oh. Yeah, these are the pellets. Obviously, so, there's a color concentrate in there. What's the happen covering there? This is a, a lab. It's confidential. Uh, so the materials uh, get loaded into that hopper and get, they go through that heated barrel section and then they get injected into this into this mold base through that runner system into the gates and those pins are we're gonna are, are gonna hold the insert inside of that cavity this is obviously a much smaller insert cavities or the mold base is going to close and then the material is going to get injected into this cavity and as that material starts to wrap around that core those pins are gonna retract so they, oh, they pull in, right. They pull in. That all happens within a second. Well, you're gonna end up with a part that looks like this with the core pins. general I mean this is kind of what a golf ball looks like as it comes out of the cavity okay and then the surface prep process is going to knock down that sheen two spray the two fans of paint that come out and these will rotate those just get oh there you go ah. and then we'll get the painted top and bottom aerodynamic research lab hmm. um, and it's it's we have it set up to not only do full characterizations on some of the new dimple patterns that we're looking at, but also also to qualify every single cavity pair that we use to make our TP5, TP5X. So we'll launch a golf ball out um, at say 12 degrees, uh, 160 miles an hour and 3000 RPM. As that ball gets launched, that's the maximum speed that that ball will ever see in that ball flight. It's gonna continuously reduce in, in ball velocity due to drag. We can model ball flights from driver through wedges. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch one golf ball with the lights on, which is not our standard operating uh, So this is the stereo image overall with the three camera stations, and she can pick a, a particular camera station. So you can actually zoom in and see how the resolution, you can see no how that golf ball is rotating. Oh, no way. That's cool. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Just want to say a huge thank you to Eric for having me down at the Ball Lab as well, and just explaining so fully about what was going on there. It really, really was 
it was pretty intense. And guys, the giveaway is only gonna be running for two weeks, so two weeks from this point. So if you're watching this in 2029, I apologize, you are no longer eligible, and hopefully the uh, sea levels aren't too high. Right guys, so please subscribe, enter the giveaway, and we will see you down here next time.